First thing we need to do is we need to clone the repository for PD for iOS onto our computer. Now I'm at the repository for PD for iOS. I found it through a simple web search. Uh, you can copy the URL at the top or search for it yourself. So on this page, you will find the PD for iOS library. A helpful link is the wiki, which will tell us how to get started. So we'll click on that now. Then we'll click on PD for iOS. And this gives us the initial instructions on how to clone the repository and get started with Xcode. I am using the spotlight feature, which is command spacebar, and that looks a little bit different on Yosemite than it did in previous versions. Previous versions, it was up here at the top uh, right, and you can kind of see a vestige of that with the magnifying glass. Anyhow, I will load the applications by um, pressing command spacebar and then typing them. So I need the terminal, so I'll type term and then Boom, there it is. I need the terminal because I need to go into the directory that I will install this library. Now let me command tab over to the finder and on the desktop, I'll create a new folder, shift command N. Now I'll call this learning PD iOS and I'll get the terminal window open and drag it over and the desktop over here. Now in terminal, I'll type CD for change directory and I'll drag this newly created folder into the terminal. And now what I need to do is follow the instructions that are on the GitHub page. So I'm going to copy this line, git clone git, and you will need an internet connection in order to do this. And I'll paste it. So what we're going to do is clone the repository, hit enter. And now what it has done, if I go to the finder, is it has created within this learning PD iOS folder, a folder called PD for iOS. Now if I double click this, there's lots of folders, but if I double tap Live PD, it's empty. If I were to try to start with just this folder, I would get nowhere. That's because I have to actually clone the dependencies too. So the way that we do that is we go back to the terminal and we follow a set of instructions. So now I'll change directory into PD for iOS. And now I'm in that directory, I'll type git submodule init. And then git submodule update. And what this will do is it will grab all the dependencies and copy them into the folders appropriately. Now I'll go back to the finder and double click PD for iOS, double click live PD, and now you see all those files are there. What's really important is in here is that the pure data folder has contents and you make sure it does. And as well in the live PD folder, this live PD Xcode proj file is here because that's how we're going to actually import live PD into Xcode. The next step of the process is to create a new Xcode project and import live PD into Xcode.